Hello, I'm Ben Maxson, an Applications Engineer with Copper Mountain Technologies uh, here at IMS 2016. And we're showing here at this table a demonstration about Internet of Things. And so it's a, it's a big industry buzzword, Internet of Things. You can't get away from it. But what we wanted to talk about was a little bit more, how does that relate to real RF engineers and the kind of work that they're doing? Some of the unique challenges that are coming up as the Internet connectivity is being driven into more and more products. And um, so that's what I'll show you here uh, today. So what it, what it really means in our, in our experience is that it's not that there's some uh, great new, new uh, technologies or standards being uh, developed, but it's more the existing 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz ISM band, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth standards are getting into more and more and more products. And that means that engineers who traditionally haven't really dealt with wireless much are needing to do RF test and measurement. They may not be experts in that area and they don't have budgets for uh, fancy test equipment. So they need something basic, easy to use, and uh, they can get their job done. So these are a few examples of ultra miniature antennas uh, developed by some of our customers um, that would be integrated into products uh, ranging from dishwashers to trash cans to all kinds of things that have never been online before. And engineers need to um, not only select these antennas, but also test their performance in the products they're ultimately integrated into. Um, it's one thing to look at the data sheet of an antenna and or to use a reference design, but when you put that antenna into a housing, its uh, match will change. The, the, the housing of the product does what we call detuning. So even if the antenna is well matched to the, the module, um, outside of the housing, once it's inside, you need to repeat your tests and confirm the performance is, is up to par. To do antenna tests, you need to do uh, basically vector reflectometry. It's a, it's a one port VNA measurement and S11 measurement. And that'll show you how well an antenna is working and also what components can be added to the design to improve the performance of the antenna in the particular product you're developing. Uh, these reflectometers, our Copper Mountain Technologies one port VNAs. This R60 product is a new product we're announcing at the show. Its operating frequency range is from one megahertz to six gigahertz. So it covers both of the ISM bands as well as the 900 megahertz band. So it's kind of a perfect test and measurement tool for RF engineers or engineers dealing with antennas in the Internet of Things uh, world. Uh, what we have it doing here is just testing a ultra miniature antenna that's again a U.FL um, uh, connector. And you can see on the display uh, its return loss. So this particular antenna has a sweet spot here at around two and a half gigahertz and another one around five gigahertz. But as I, as I move my hand closer to the antenna, you can see that changing. And that's, that's basically the same effect that occurs when you put the antenna into the housing of a, of a finished product. So, we can optimize this, this uh, match at these particular frequencies of interest by adding some components to our design uh, to improve the match. And then we can verify that, that what we've done is, is working as we expect by testing it with a, a vector reflectometer like this R60. So another unique challenge of, of doing tests uh, with these ultra miniature connectors is there's not really commercially available calibration standards um, for that connector type. So what we recommend is to do a, a traditional uh, calibration up to the SMA connector, and then you'll, you'll have an adapter like this from SMA to U.FL. It's, it's a really tiny, but uh, you, you would then use port extension to basically remove the delay of this connector, and optionally also its loss. Um, that'll give you about the best possible measurement accuracy you can achieve at a U.FL connector interface. And, um, so, so yeah, that's, that's what Internet, Internet of Things might mean for real world RF engineers doing tests in the 2.4 gigahertz, 5.8 gigahertz frequency bands. Thanks.